All right, good viber. How are you today? It is your girl Esther Joy coming at you with another video on this channel. We love to talk about love, like joy and peace. So if you, my friend, enjoy spreading those good vibrations to the planet, know you're in the right place. Hit subscribe to officially join the family. And hello, fam. What is good today? Lovely to see your beautiful face on. Uh, well, I I am envisioning it. It is looking quite beautiful through my camera. Anyways, we are going to be talking about numerology today. Um, thank you so much, fam, for uh, suggesting this, okay? This was suggested, and I will find who suggested it, and I will put it in the comments down below, but it, to just move on because my memory could be better, as we will put it. Let's go on to the four solid tips I have for you today about using numerology to uh, help you with your manifestations, okay? I'm super duper excited to just hop on into today's video. I already wrote down a few uh, of the points I'm gonna hit, so let's just start with number one, which is using numbers as signposts. I think that everyone has had a certain combination of numbers that just has a significance to them. I think that, you know, it's just kind of a human thing for us to connect um, even to numbers like that. So generally speaking, I'm going to share a little story with you. For instance, um, my friend likes uh, to use the number 17 uh, to signify that they're going in the right path towards their manifestations. Now, when they first started using 17 to help, the, help direct them into the path they wanted to go, they uh, didn't see it that much. But now, now it's like seven to eight times a day they will notice 17. And that is because, uh, well, one, selective attention, but also that number for them now has a significance and can be used as a signpost to help, <laughs> to help them along the way of their manifestations. So tip number one, excuse Jedi as he's barking, is to find a number that you like um, or that you have significance to, to use that number to help benchmark you as you follow your manifestations path. Okay, so tip number one, find a number to help you benchmark to make sure you're going in the right direction. You can either have a number, you know, if you shouldn't be somewhere or shouldn't do something, you could have a number to signify that. And you could have another number to signify when you are, you know, doing and are on the right path. So definitely use your numbers to your advantage as a signpost to make sure that you're staying on track for your manifestations. Number two is to understand your life path number. Now your life path number, um, I almost like associate this with astrology for whatever reason. But anyways, you just take the date of the days that you were born, you add the day to the month, to the year and you add that all up as numerology goes if you have a double digit number you're just going to add those two singular digits together to create one single digit number again ranging from one to nine so your life path can range from one to nine and you can get a little bit more insight about how you um, may function in this world or how you might find it easier to uh, go about <laughs> jedi really okay it looks like there's someone outside but we're good so i'm gonna continue okay so my life uh path number just for instance is four plus two six uh so that's 30 so that's three plus two equals five so i am life path number five so five is a very swift changing um, number it's in the middle of it's not in the middle of it's in the middle of 10 but it's not in the middle of nine 
but it is the significance of a shift that generally takes place after some drastic tower moment or something has taken place. That is as much as I really know about my life path number. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, it has kind of helped me realize that a lot of the times my manifestation will come in fast or swift, um, kind of like shifts. And so I think that your life path number will help give you more insight on how your manifestation will come about. So that's tip number two, use your life path number to understand how you can um, invite your manifestation in um, or use the energies that are surrounding you to your advantage. So use your life path number to just gain some more insight on how you can prepare for your manifestation or what kind of energies are surrounding your life um, missions or your soul's missions manifestation so that is number two use your life use your life path number okay number three is the power of three okay in numerology three is a creation force number and there is a lot of power in the number three especially when it comes to creation okay uh, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, all of that jazz. Now, with a number three, there's also a subconscious significance about repeating um, something three times. It almost, well, of course, it like multiplies the power of um, whatever the intention was, but it definitely sends a much clearer, sig uh, significantly clearer, I'm hearing a subconscious message um, that can be received a lot more easily, easily, easier, easier. So um, using the power of three in your manifestations, it's a very powerful. Sometimes um, like sign your name three times if you um, like to script. Um, you could also like anywhere that you can if you really want to emphasize a certain point of your manifestation then write it out three times. Um, acknowledge your manifestation three times per day. Just using the number three, using that kind of repetition, it's, it's almost like it creates a cycle that helps the creation um, open up to its full potential. So using the number three with your manifestation specifically will just help amplify. Of course, all of the numbers can help amplify, but three seems to be the Three seems to be the one, okay? Three seems to be that creation, that beautiful force, magical number. So yes, use three to help you with your manifestations. That's tip number three, okay? And let's go to tip number four. And tip number four, it ties in with um, the signposts and using numbers as your signposts, but it's more about the synchronicities that you see daily, okay? Numbers, numerology for me is a form of communication that the divine uses through sacred geometries and numbers and um you knowing this when you see a certain time or you see a certain license plate or something a lot of the times this can just be communication from the divine i mean everything is communication from the divine to be honest with you so there's that but being aware of the numbers around you and the synchronicities that you are aware of will help you with your manifestation and the way it will help you is because generally if you see three of any number then that i i like to take that as a sign and depending on what number it is that is it's kind of a, a calling to readjust my energy or to just lead my energy and attention in another direction. What I see synchronicities of numbers, depending on what number it is, um, that will help direct me in that moment towards what I am wanting to manifest. Um, for instance, if I was 
I'm just trying to think of one really quickly, driving or something, and I see 444. That might be a reminder for me to, that I am safe, I'm protected, or that I should just make sure that I am grounded and I'm solid before I begin driving. So they can be very, you know, very subtle, but it's very important to just pay attention to all of the numbers around you, knowing that the divine is always wanting to communicate with you and that they can use numbers um, as a means to do so, along with this whole beautiful world that we live in. Anyways, good viber, those are the four numerology tips I have for you to help increase and bring your manifestation to full fruition. I'm gonna go over them real fast. Number one is to use numbers as signposts. Number two is to understand your life path number. Number three is to use the power of three to help your creation come to fruition. And number four is to pay attention to the synchronicities and numbers that you see. Now, I want to just say if you like this video, then press that thumbs up so I know so and can continue to make more videos just like this one. And of course, my amazing fam, if you haven't subscribed already, do that. If you want more information about numerology, like if you want me to go through one to nine and explain the energetic significance of those numbers you know that I would be so down so just let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to elaborate further on numerology or anything else again thank you so much fam for recommending this topic I'm so happy to be able to share um, these insights with you and I would love to know if you have any more okay share them with the fam and comment them down below we're all in this together and I will see you in the next video. Have an amazing day.